What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. So today we got some more carbon fiber stuff to build for the truck. You guys saw the last video we did the whole dash pad out of carbon. Now there's a few more pieces on the inside that I want to build out of carbon just because I can't find good replacements for them and they're in really bad shape. Let's check it out and we're just gonna jump right into this video. So this is what we're starting out with today. A little fuse box cover is in pretty sad shape. There's actually a big hole and I already put some uh, glue on some epoxy over that to fill that back in so we can use that as a form or a mold so we're gonna build that and then these door little door sill things are just completely banged up rotted out you can see they're all falling apart and not much left of them really so we're gonna have to completely remake these we're not gonna be able to use these for our molds luckily this is a simple part so I got some half inch plywood I'm just gonna cut up and basically I'll just have to cut it, make the strips, uh, glue them together, and then I'll just sand the top to kind of round that out. Maybe do some Bondo on it just to kind of make this corner here not so sharp. You can see it is kind of a grad, well, you can't really tell on some of them because they're all falling apart, but it's kind of a gradual corner, so I might have to do a little bit of body filler on it. Also, this truck had vinyl in it from the factory and there's no lip on the inside you can see so the carpet it doesn't hold the carpet down at all on this side so i'm actually going to add a lip on the inside of mine and you can see they're pretty short they could really extend from there and come up another probably two inches so i'm going to extend them out a little bit and like i said put a lip on this side to kind of clamp that carpet down as well i think that'll really help so let's get to work first things first i want to start with making these molds out of the plywood so let's go with that and then like i said this one we're going to use as our mold what we'll have to do is just sand it nice and smooth and then we'll do our fiberglass over this and then once that cures up we'll use that fiberglass as our final mold for the carbon fiber All right, we are trying something a little bit different on this mold versus the last one. So I picked up some black gel coat. A lot of people recommended that for the first layer right here, and then we'll do our fiberglass over that once it tacks up. But what the gel coat does is it gives you a nice, slick, even and very hard surface of the bottom of the mold. So we'll try it out. Hopefully it works a lot better. Like I said, we're gonna let this tack up and then we'll take our fiberglass and our resin here and we'll do three or four layers of the fiberglass, get a nice mold. We'll crack it off of the actual part here and then we can make sure that mold is perfect and then we'll do our carbon fiber.
Well guys, I kind of suck at making these molds. So what happened was the mold kind of wrapped around, even with that flange I built, kind of wrapped around and kind of sunk in. So I had to cut this whole mold out on the inside. And you can see some of the gel coat actually fell off too when I was cracking that mold off. So one thing we're gonna have to do is just, I'm gonna take some resin and kind of fill in these voids in here. And then we'll either re-gel coat it or paint it or something to get it nice and slick and smooth and ready for the fiber. All right guys, we got all of our carbon laid down, got it all wet out. Now I did three layers of carbon on both of these parts. Now I know what you're thinking, you're gonna need two of those little sill trim pieces on the bottom. Now I didn't wanna make two molds, I'd rather make one mold 
and have both sides identical. So once this cures up, we'll pop it off the mold and then we'll just have to do a one more with that. So one thing I gotta say, this new West Systems Epoxy works so much better. In all my research with carbon fiber, everybody was saying that the fiberglass stuff that I bought is really high quality, it works really good. But from what I've seen anyway, what I've my experience with it so far, this West Systems works so much better. Even for like laminating when I'm laying the mat down, the carbon stays exactly where I want it. I was having major issues with the other stuff, with the carbon not wanting to stick to the actual part. Now, I didn't even let this all the way tack up. I just kind of let it set. It kind of like thickened up. It wasn't really tacky, so I could still move the carbon around on it. But as soon as I got it pressed down into the resin, it stayed there perfectly and it looks really, really good. So I'm very excited. We'll get out here tomorrow, pop these off the molds. And like I said, we gotta do one more of these little bottom sill trim pieces. All right, we got these off the molds and they turned out okay. This one actually turned out really good. There's only just a couple little air pockets you can see right here. Um, kind of along this corner, mainly on this side you can see there's some air pockets here. So we're gonna have to sand that down and just do another coat, kind of fill that back in and then we can do our clear coat. So all in all, not too bad. Let's get that fixed up and then, like I said, we still have to build the other one of these. <laughs>
Check that out, guys. That looks so good. I just love, I love this carbon fiber right there. As soon as you open the door, you're gonna see it. Also, if you guys are curious about this trim piece right here, this isn't a Toyota piece. I actually found, it's just kind of a generic uh, piece I found on eBay. I'll have that stuff linked down below. It actually took me quite a while to find the correct stuff. So it actually fits perfect and beats that old brown stuff that was on here. So we are good to go. It's been, I don't know, a couple days with the clear coat on there so it's hardening up it's not obviously all the way hard but both sides turned out really good very very happy with that and then also that little fuse box cover it's a little dark up there now but i actually made up a sticker i still need to go to my brother's he's got a printer for stickers but i'm, I'm gonna do a sticker on the front of that showing the fuses also while i'm there i'm going to make a sticker for here showing you know hot cold the research what all these controls are for on here so that'll be in a video whenever i can make it over there get some stickers made up we'll label those but either way i am absolutely stoked with how this carbon turned out well guys i hope you like how this stuff turned out i think it turned out super super good i love like i said i love how as soon as you're going to open the door you're going to see that carbon you'll sit down full carbon fiber dash radio bezel obviously that fuse box cover you can't really see but i needed to make it because the other one was all busted up so we got that like i said once i can get over my brother's house we can uh, print up some stickers for the fuse box cover and all the HVAC controls. I wanna label that just because you might as well. So we're gonna get that done. But either way, that is a wrap for this video, guys. The next video, I'm gonna go all in and we're gonna completely finish this interior. So that means we got a bunch of work to do on the doors. We gotta build door panels. Actually, I did find the ignition and that little steering column cover. So that is on the way. The next video, we'll have to get that stuff ready, get that installed, get these doors figured out, get everything. I want this interior done. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.